Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to establish relationships between objects in different data tables uh, through the columns that are created as relationships. To learn more about relationships, you can click on the link in, the, in this video that will take you to another video where I talk about what the relationships are and uh, provide an example uh, of a relationship and also show you how to establish a relationship between data tables. To demonstrate how to create relationship with, between objects, I'm switching to the data screen. And in here, I already have four tables. Three of these tables were imported into Backendless. Uh, uh, and I described that process in yet another video. And now you can click on that link to navigate to that video that shows how to import data into Backendless. To give you an overview about the data structure, I have a table called Person. And in the schema for the table, there is a relationship column called city of reference, which is a one-to-one -one relation to the table called city. And uh, to create a relationship between actual objects, because the, this column right here is the relationship between the tables and then the objects within these tables, they can point to one another. So let's create a person and then we will establish a relationship from that person to uh, a city. And to create a person object, click the new button, new menu item here. And let's just fill out the form. Uh, and we have only two properties, which is age and name. And then the relationship will come later. So as far as age, just any arbitrary number, say it's 30. And the name is, let's say, Joe. So now we have this object in the database. And uh, there is an object ID. So how would you create a relationship? Uh, well, it is with Backendless, it is as simple as clicking on this little plus icon and the pop-up says add slash remove related object. When you click that icon, uh, you get a listing of all the objects in the related table. So in this case, the table is city and uh, uh, we can just pick any of these uh, cities or you can search for a city. So for instance, if I type in New York, then uh, Backendless runs the search, and this is the district of New York. Uh, and the, the city, let's say here is the New York city in, the, in New York State. Select this particular object, uh, click Add Relation. So now there is a relationship from this person object to a specific object in the city table. If you were to click on this link, then you will see that a specific object shows up in the city. Uh, there is only one because it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Also notice that there is a little funnel icon, which basically shows that this is a filtered view of the city table. But from here, you can see that this is the related object. If you click on the little funnel, it goes away and backendless loads all the objects from the city table. But at this point, uh, there, are, there is a relationship between a person, object, and the uh, an object in the table city. Uh, and at this point, if you start retrieving data using the API, you can retrieve both person and city at the same time. And this, this is called a single step retrieval. Or using the two step retrieval, you can retrieve person first. And then for that person, you can retrieve all the related objects, in, the, in this case, the related city object. Uh, but that would be a subject of another video. Uh, you can actually manage this relationship and manage the, the, the object that is selected once again by clicking the icon. It shows the one that is assigned. If you want to see all others, uh, you can select and click this radio button. Uh, if, if you are on this screen and click remove relation, then uh, Backendless D associates that person uh, from that city. Uh, and then if you go and select this one, then you can make a, a new selection uh, to update it in the database. So that's uh, all the information that you need to know as far as creating basic relationships between objects. Uh, thank you, and as always, happy coding.